Hello and welcome, Sagittarius, to your April 2023 general reading with myself, Thomas Janak. Sorry that you have to look at fidget spun. <coughs> and my hair is still drying, so I look a bit all over the place, but I have to record these things when I find the time. <coughs> anyway, Sagittarians, what we do here, we will look at the overall energy for the month of April 2023, before we then look at your emotional core, see if there's healing that has to happen, love coming in, maybe there's some stuff that needs to be tweaked on the emotional level, before we then finally look at your opportunities, or at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of April 2023. And please remember, this, this is a general reading. It may, not, it may not resonate with all of you. My experience has been, based on the feedback, that whoever needs to hear that message ultimately will find it. Right? Because there's no coincidence. In any case, <coughs> Sagittarians, are you ready to look at all these things? Are you okay, Fridge? Mm -hmm. So, let's have a look. Sorry, boy. Just need to shuffle some cards. So we know. Mm -hmm. Sorry, boy. Oh, good boy. Hmm. Shall we look what we got for Sagittarians? Right? So, Sorry, guys. <laughs> you have a couple of interesting things. Number one, I'm drawn to my Starseed uh, deck uh, today, which I'm not using a lot in readings, but when you're drawn to something, which means there's different guides attached to them, um, then you have to look at it. So the first thing I would say to you, because you have, you have double mission and deep cellular healing. So again, this is just terminology. What the guides are saying to you, Sagittarians, in the month of April 2023, at all times, please, please, please be yourself. You do not, you do not have to change even an inch just to please someone. If uh, you work somewhere and your employer isn't isn't happy with your work, fuck them. Right? There will be other work that will come your way when you realize, you know, I do my best here. Right? So that's the whole point. Uh, the guys are making here is is if you want to. Have a life that reflects who you truly are then obviously you have to live a life that is authentic and that's the main message here for you Sagittarians which obviously does not mean that you're not authentic it means is in April 2023 pay attention to the areas in your life or of your life where you really can't be yourself how come I'm just trying to, to, to do these things and these things um, to please other people. How come I'm always there? How come I'm not getting back what I'm putting out? That kind of stuff. That is your overall energy, is to, is to pay attention to this. Because the other thing is that you have, um, with, when, they, when, they, when they call it deep cellular healing, obviously that just means that, that you are quite affected emotionally and maybe even physically by the energy that is coming to you and that you could attract by staying in situations maybe longer than you should have or than you should and um, trying to make situations work that are by difficult default. I'm getting an imagery here that may be a bit specific, but I'm seeing someone who looks after someone who is older. Um, so there is stress because you can't quite leave, if that makes sense. Again, it's symbolism. The point the guides are making is even in these moments, don't try to please. Just do what you can do. If people want to judge you on it, let them judge you. This is important here because, Sagittarians, you are the archer. And as the archer, you are not a weak sign. The downside is, or the flip side to, to being the archer, is that you decide how much energy, how far you actually, you know, how far, how far you actually shoot the arrow. So how much energy you give things to anything should still be your choice. That is the overall energy. Uh, felt a bit heavy. <clears throat> but it's not <coughs> meant as super heavy. It just means like, you know, how long do you think you can keep that up? Being there for everybody, that's the main the main energy here. Um, unless you will probably collapse under the weight that that causes you. Be a bit more selfish. Be yourself at all times. This is the overall energy for the month of April 2023. You're watching Thomas's Tower readings. Please like, subscribe and share if you like my work. You can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas. You can probably see the whole the whole thing above here shaking this because 
Fidget is jumping on the table and the camera is on a stand on the table. So it's like, you know, so there is no earthquakes here in, in my beloved Canuck. <laughs> so don't worry about it. Anyway, shall we move on to your emotional core? Let's do that. Right. You just do what you do best, Fitch. You just look cute and let me work. Okay. With regards to your emotional core, what I am getting, again, seems to be a um, continuation of sorts from the overall energy. Number one, um, I don't see you in April 2023 having to go through a lot of healing as such. And yet it is there inside it. So you have the energy of longing for home, which means there is a part of your energy that feels a bit disconnected. And when it comes to, to all things emotional, you might feel a bit disconnected from what's going on either in your love life or in how you feel about situations. And again, the way this feels here is about understanding that has happened because there's just a lot going on, Fitch. There's just a lot going on in your life that doesn't necessarily reflect who you truly are because the energy here or the, or the terminology here is to face your true north. Now, ah, how do I explain this best? North is very difficult to explain because we have magnetic north and we have true north. And so then we have a north node, which is about why am, why am I here? And, and while the longitude and latitude give us a different type of north, the, the compass could only ever find magnetic north. So people uh, back in the day, you would, you would be directed to another area of your true self by following magnetic north <clears throat> so again it's obviously symbolism the point the guys are making is <laughs> sounds a bit wrong embrace your weirdness be who you are if people can't deal with you pff, who cares so when it comes to your emotions i'm seeing actually a lot of love here i'm seeing a lot of harmony as well but inside it you have to be able or you should be able to express yourself fully and that is really really important Okay, so that is your emotional core for the month of April 2023. This is uh, Thomas's Tower readings with myself, Thomas Janak. Now, now let's look at opportunities for the month of April 2023. We're looking at the sign of Sagittarius. Let's have a look. You ready? <laughs> so, with regards to opportunities, they are not super abundant in the month of April. That doesn't really matter because what you're being asked is to understand instead of following patterns that you know or oh, I want I want this to work and blah 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 blah. Um, I don't see you here having to make massive changes. What you need to do is to actually step back, see the bigger picture. Is this what I really want to do? And if you are fortunate enough to do exactly what you want to do, it is still important to sort of step back and say, look, okay, so. While I'm doing what I want to do, where is it going? And can I tweak it to make things a bit more progressive, if that makes sense? So um, what you're being asked is to not slow down while not being stressed at the same time, right? So again, so far, and obviously this is the final part of your reading, it's all about understanding your energy and understanding that when you are happy within yourself and not getting judged on who you are and not getting annoyed by others, uh, um, you function so much better, right? Sagittarians, that's all I got. Please like, subscribe and share. It really does help the channel out. And um, I see you all next month. Bye-bye.